Alrighty guys, what's going on? So I'm back with another video, man. It's another strain review for you guys. Happy Friday, by the way. Uh, by the time of me recording this, it is currently... Let me see here. 9.52, October 27th. Today's Tuesday. I don't know why I didn't say it in the proper order, but who cares? Let's get into this strain review, man. Today, if you guys cannot tell, I am probably going to be the most excited you'll ever see me in a video because I haven't smoked Blue Dream in a minute. If you guys don't know, I think I've talked about this in some past story times. Blue Dream was the very first friend that I ever smoked in terms of legal cannabis, um, which basically means not from street dealers and shit where you can get your stuff laced. I ain't about that life. Hopefully you aren't either. So let's get it going. This is also the joint that I had from Wednesday's video by the way, um, both of which were recorded today, on the same exact day, um, I want to show you guys how to use the tip tuck method, so I mean, shout out to me, um, <laughs> look at that perfect W, let's go to this spot, oh, actually, look at that, by the way, really quickly, before I get started, as I'm just trying to toast, not the time. As I'm trying to toast the joint, um, one thing I want to say right off the bat, and I don't talk about this enough, at least I don't think I do, you know, I feel like I can talk about it a little bit more, is the aroma that this gives off. This is one of the reasons why Blue Dream is one of my, fa one of my favorite strains, and why this lighter is one of my least favorite lighters, but my clippers, for some reason, just ain't working today. I thought they were all empty. I refilled all of them. None of them are lighting now, so I'm kind of kind of annoyed by that. But um, when I say aroma, I'm talking not only about now that I've lit it, but just out the bag, dude. That gassy kind of citrusy, lemony kind of blueberry kind of, you know, smell. Just, mmm. First puff of Blue Dream in about a year. First hit, I'm really not tasting too much. Now, I try to keep things 100 with you guys. I have no reason to lie. I did not pay for this. This was sent out by Power Plant Health, which is where I've been getting my weed from ever since I started here. Uh, started videos here on YouTube with the Metro Weed Man. Which, as of right now, if you guys are watching the video, it might... It might be called the the Toronto Stoner. I'm switching it back to the Metro Weed Man. I just prefer that name better. It just rolls off my tongue a little bit more. And I'm finding that I'm screwing it up and still calling myself the Metro Weed Man and not the Toronto Stoner. Plus, I was talking to a couple of you guys and you guys said, yeah, the Metro Weed Man sounds better. So, there we go. So I'm definitely tasting a little bit of citrus. A little bit of like blueberry kind of... I believe Blue Dream derives from Blueberry Kush or something like that. Um, <coughs> or some, something with Blueberry and I don't know exactly what the strain is. I'm almost 100% sure this is a hybrid. I always say this. I, I, I should. It'll all be nominal in the description. Um, in terms of my description of the strain. Uh, in the, you know, for the video. And what Power Plant Health says about it and all that stuff. <sighs> I'm really liking it so far. Now, I'm not going to say how much they gave me because that's irrelevant. All I'm going to say is that it's a triple A strain and it goes for 135 bucks for an ounce. That's right. 135 Canadian for an ounce. 28 grams of blue dream. I don't know anywhere else you're going to find that kind of a deal. I mean, now, unless you're getting from another wholesale, another, um, sorry, wholesaler. Uh, you get wholesale value because of the fact that they're growing it themselves. Which is what I meant to say. Um, pulling up the fucking heavy duty Astro over here. If you guys haven't seen this in a while, have you? So, the last time I smoked Blue Dream, it didn't really get me like fucked up, baked, buzzed out high. Uh, and I'm really hoping it doesn't do that this time because, to be honest with you, I could have smoked this in one recorder, but I figured I, I rolled this. <coughs> 
excuse me. I rolled this in a king size joint for that uh, tip tuck tutorial, so I might as well just smoke the joint and rather than letting it just sit there because I'm gonna have to smoke it eventually anyway, right? Um, but as I was saying, the last time I smoked Blue Dream, I got it from the OCS, which is if you guys are not familiar, here in Ontario, Canada, every province and territory, by the way, I believe every province and territory, I, I don't know. Um, I'm assuming every other province and territory has something similar, like the equivalent for them of what the OCS is for Ontario citizens, which is essentially is the provincial government's weed site, if you will. Now, there are dispensaries like storefronts and who not that are licensed through the government. Those are not the same as the OCS. It's similar, but not the same. So, last time I got Blue Dream was from the OCS, and um, I mean, I'm really, really liking it so far. I really think that it's a very, very big, big strain if you guys are you know new to weed i would definitely recommend a sativa especially until you really get used to smoking you kind of get your tolerance you know an idea of your tolerance to the smoke and to the weed and the effects and the terpenes i would definitely recommend smoking a sativa maybe not maybe something that's on the lower spectrum of the uh, thc uh percentage like something like around 17 maybe 20 percent um, would personally, in my opinion, be ideal for a beginner. I have no idea. I don't remember what the strain was. I think it was like 25% when I used to get it from the OCS. When I used to get it from, um, I'm not actually going to name the dispensary because they're assholes and they're no longer in business that I'm aware of. If you guys watch my story time talking about dispensaries, you guys know what I'm talking about, I think. Basically, it's the one where they, the, the guy would never weigh the weed in front of me and always, you know, I felt he tried to rip me off. <coughs> Excuse me. But, um, I mean, I'm not coughing any longer. I'm coughing, but it's not like, you guys know when I cough, I have to pause the video because, of, you know, I just, I cough like an absolute grizzly bear. And uh, it just looks really weird. <laughs> so, I mean, that's that. Now, getting back into the strain, kind of getting into these flavors, man, these terps. I'm really, really liking it. I, I think Percy's weed that has strong terps versus a lot of terps, I prefer the one with strong terps because having a lot, sometimes you don't want a lot of different flavors. You may want, like in this case, where you've got a little bit of citrus, a little bit of blueberry, a little bit of like that the actual like weed taste, if you will. Um, and it's fairly straightforward. It's not a basic strain, but it's not a complex one either. So again, you know, it's something to definitely try. I would, I would recommend it to really anybody who's looking to try a new strain. If you haven't tried Blue Dream, I don't know where you... You probably live under a rock or something. If you haven't heard of it, at least. And if this lighter doesn't work with me, I'm going to get a little bit annoyed here. But... I'm really, really liking this. this, especially that kind of like citrusy hit. I'm not sure exactly what it is, um, but definitely citrusy. I'm smelling it a lot more um, through the smoke, and then just when you're again rubbing out the bag, when you're you know smelling it, I think we all do that thing where we go grab our weed and we smell it. I don't know. I think it's kind of weird, but I know everybody does it. Um, I don't know what it is, but I find it really cringy when I see somebody like. Like, for instance, they, let me take use my lighter, for example. Probably going to die off of these fumes. But they, they only take their weed and they go like, like, they stick it practically into their fucking nostrils. I found that so weird. Because I feel like you should be able to smell it if it's that strong. You should be able to smell it like this. And be like, or even like a cologne or a perfume, you know, you go, like, you know, some people go, I just, like, what? I don't know. But, I should have brought some music by then. I've got my phone. I just didn't go to speaker, plus it's charging. Anyways, so, <coughs> excuse me. I'm really, really liking it. It's it's burning beautifully. It's resonating quite a bit. As you guys, I don't know if you guys can see that too well, but that shine on the top of the brown is liquid gold. One thing I want to say also, when I was grinding the weed, it was uh, keefing quite a bit, which is really nice to see. Sometimes your weed doesn't keef out too much. Not necessarily a bad thing, but I mean, usually when your weed does, obviously that shows higher quality. 
And this being, and I say this a lot, but this being a triple, extremely, extremely worth it. I would say it's perfectly priced. Anywhere from 130 to 150 for a triple is a great deal. Um, lower is way better, obviously, but like, you know, the cheaper, uh, the cheaper you get a triple, I have a tongue twister, um, <laughs> you know, the better. Now, you also got to really, like, if you're seeing, like, for instance, like, really glue for $100 for a triple, I think that's probably the best deal I'll ever, ever, ever find in terms of price for the grade. I'm yet to find a triple for less than 100 bucks. I mean, you know, now, I'm definitely, definitely thinking of trying uh, one of their Indicas. That's a five-star, 5A strain because I've never, ever tried something like that before. I'm only getting an eight. So the next time I go, probably next week or the week after, whenever I re-up on my own, excuse me, I'll get an eighth. And if you guys are wondering why I just why I get an eighth and not less, excuse me, it's because that's the smallest quantity that Power Point House sells. Also, also, before I forget, if you guys go, I, I'm almost 100 percent sure it's still like going on. Down below will be Power Plant's Weed Maps link. Um, if you leave them a review, I believe they give you a free pre-roll or something like that. Uh, and you just, I, got the, I think you got to email them or you got to message them um, proof and, you know, you get a free pre-roll, something like that. I'll, I'll link that in the description. I don't remember exactly. I only found this out actually last night when I was on Wii Maps. So that's that. But um, really quickly, Power Plant, if you guys are watching this, because I reached out to you guys yesterday night saying about the videos and stuff like that. And I really quickly want to commend you guys because you guys are doing a great fucking job at this i was reading through some of the weed map reviews and a lot of the people were saying oh this is maybe around april um you know when shit really started to hit the fans so to speak with covid people were saying oh i placed an order and you know one person on the street was blocked off because of police and they still complained sorry guys and they still complained about their delivery not being um done or whatever so, some people got to get off their high horse and be a little more realistic. Like, when these streets closed off because of the police, how can you possibly complain about, you know, why we didn't get delivered? Like, really, dude? Grow up. But, you know, in all seriousness, if you guys are watching, um, I think so far you guys are doing perfect. I mean, yeah, there was that one issue earlier this year where you guys shorted me the weed. Uh, but it wasn't a huge issue. I'm not, Again, mistakes are going to be made, right? We're only human. So behind every company, you guys got to realize, behind every company is a human. That does not necessarily make everything that companies do right. Just saying. But behind companies are humans, just like you and me. So. Definitely hitting this shit. I'm loving it. I'm definitely feeling a little bit more of like a, I'm going to start using the word sedation. I said that in my stream last night. <laughs> um, I'm definitely feeling a little bit more of like a um, mellowed out, relaxed kind of sedation. <laughs> so, sorry guys, I was getting a phone call. I apologize if you guys, so that, that vibration on my phone is really, really loud. But I don't know if you guys even heard it. Probably not. I don't know. Sometimes I hear shit that you guys won't through the video. And I feel like you guys would, but you don't. So, that's good. Um, not that anybody cares. But, um, yeah, when it comes to power plant and health, man, I mean, I, I've... I try to... I, I'm, I'm very generous and outgoing with it when it comes to shoutouts. I'm not one of those people like, oh, you have to give me a shoutout if I give you a shoutout. Don't, you don't got to be like a six-year-old, you know? Grow the fuck up, guys. That's not what this is about. I mean, it does not cost you a damn fucking thing to give somebody a shout out. And if it's somebody like Power Plant that I may not have the biggest fucking uh, result in terms of like helping them. If let's say they were a small company and they give them a shout out. I'm a very small YouTuber. Um, a little bit of a bigger Instagram or whatever. <laughs> whatever you, I, I, I can call it. I don't really know if I can say I'm an influencer necessarily. But maybe I am. I don't know. But uh, that's definitely my goal. You know, if you guys are wondering what my goal is for YouTube, it's to at least help you guys make the right purchase decision. Bong. Dude. So.
definitely expecting it to, to make me feel lo- not lightheaded, but like just very nice, not too intense, but heavy mental high. Um, this is the thing I find with, with weed, you either feel a mental relaxation or a physical relaxation. And right now I'm feeling a mental relaxation. My body's kind of not toning down. This is, this is when I say body high, I mean like, you know, when you finally get home from a long day at work, hard day at work, you know, and you're just like, Oh, finally. You can take your clothes off, do well, wherever you do. Maybe you don't take your clothes off. I don't know. <laughs> you know, you can just relax. You're not at work, basically. That's what I'm trying to talk about. Like, you feel like, finally. Which, you would think, I would love to feel like that. But then the only downside of Indica is, I definitely will fall asleep. It's just, you know. I'm not really crazy about that. There are some times where I really want, you know, a lot of times I smoke weed to help me to relax, but not, I don't, I don't buy Indicas to the point, (coughs) excuse me, to the point where it just like knocks me out. I'm not that big with Indicas as you guys may know, but uh, definitely going to start trying out more of them, but this resonation is pretty nice. It sucks you guys won't really see it too well because my camera's lighting is kind of, not really the camera in this case, it's more my garage. But, if you guys don't know, by the way, I do my, these videos, this is my garage. If you guys can tell by that orange thing with the cable, uh, or that light right there, or these beams. <laughs> like, if you guys can tell, I don't know, you guys probably think I live in some fucking hut. Like, <laughs> although, in the beginning of the channel, you guys were seeing videos being done in my room. You guys probably think that's just, like, the other side of where I'm at right now, and, like, I actually live in, like, a fucking... A wooden hut. <laughs> that was, <laughs> I was struck by Bob on my YouTube channel the other day. And I'm not going to lie. Shout out to my mom, man. She's fucking amazing. She's the best. I have the best mommy in the world. She actually praised me. I don't remember the <laughs> I'm not trying to be a dick. I don't remember the last time she praised me. And I was that happy about how she, she felt about something that I did. Normally, it's she feels disappointed because I, I fuck up something. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not saying I'm a fuck-up. I mean, I did stupid shit. I'm human. Um, but no, in all seriousness, I was showing my mom my YouTube channel, and she's like, wow, you did that? And this is the other day when I was going and redoing the look of the channel and on Instagram and all that. And I was like, yeah, I did that. You know, <laughs> I did. And, <laughs> and um, the fact that she... I thought she was going to say, oh, that looks stupid. You look stupid talking to yourself in front of a camera. You're not talking to anybody but yourself, this and that. Because I'm not going to lie. At, at some point, every YouTuber feels like, like, what am I doing? I'm talking to myself. There's nobody that I'm talking to until I get a viewer. Which, technically, I'm not talking to you, but I am. So, you, you take that as you will. But, um, <laughs> getting back to the joint, we're about halfway through, and this is hitting heavy. I'm not forgetting what I say, unless I've forgotten that I forgot what I said already. Maybe I already did. I don't even remember. I guess I t- I, I, I forgot if I forgot. <laughs> no, but no seriousness. Um, by the way, look at the white that's burning. I like that. Clean smoke is good smoke. Definitely a strain that I would personally recommend halfway through the joint. Just under 20 minutes into the video. Um, and I'm going to try my very best. And I'm not bullshitting this time. I promise. I'm not going to make this a hour long. So. But. Um. <clears throat> Again, definitely something, if let's say, I don't find Blue Dream makes me get the munchies. I, I, I notice with the uh, the strawberry cough, I get munchies bad. Now, thankfully, I notice some strains, when I get the munchies, I get it bad, but I get it for sweets. Other times I get the munchies and I just, I'm hungry. It doesn't really matter what I'm eating, right? So, you know, ladies. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I hope my mom doesn't see this. I, I, it'd be a real fluke if she just happens to, like, you know, skip through the video like all you guys do. Because nobody fucking watches through the whole damn thing. I don't know why. Uh, and just fucking gets to this point and be like, You said that? Oh my god, take that down. <laughs> That's exactly what she is doing. 
duck face. But, um, yeah. <coughs> excuse me. Every time you cough, you get higher. That's what people say. It's something like that. <coughs> um, I haven't paused the video. I only paused it once because of that phone call. I haven't paused it yet due to coughing, so that's a good sign. Um, but yeah, great strain for during the day. You know, if you want to wake and bake, this is this is my thing. I don't personally wake and bake really ever. Once in a while I will, but it'll be after like 8 o'clock. Because I do not want to wake and bake at like 5 in the morning, 6 in the morning when I usually wake up. And usually when you wake up first thing in the morning, you want to, you know, you take a shower, you get dressed, do your things, do whatever. You have to do chores in the morning, whatever, you know. Um. Uh, and I don't, I don't want to be like, like, like high during the first thing in the morning. Like it's kind of like waking up after, you know. This is why I don't fuck with edibles. When you, get, when I take edibles, I usually get knocked out. Um, not like Bill Cosby knocked out, but like I pass out because I'm tired. Which um, for me, that's what edibles do. But, uh, that's showing me. Um, but. You know, I, I personally, I don't, I don't like feeling like that. Like, I don't want to feel just, like, lazy in the morning, you know what I'm saying? That's already tough enough for me to keep uh, staying awake, you know? So, smoking something like this, even if you smoke only half of this, like, let's say I were to put this out right now, I it would be fine. I'm, I'm high enough that I feel it's okay. Um, And this is the thing. It's not like, this, this is, again, with edibles, I kind of feel like the high... It takes so long, and then it just fucking hits you. Whereas with a joint, it's almost instant. It's very within a few, like a minute or two, a couple minutes. But it's gradual. I just smoke on the joint, which is why I would say halfway through the joint, I could put this down and I'm fine. But it's not like I'm gonna get like absolutely blasted high if I finish the joint, which is something that sometimes does happen. But usually with Blue Dream, that's never happened. So that being said. I'm not expecting that to happen with Blue Dream from Power Plant. And keep in mind, guys, they're not paying me to say this. I never get paid for these videos. I do this. I don't care if in five years from now I, I become huge in terms of, like, like, like just so many subscribers and I'm a big influence to YouTube within the weed community. Um, and I never make money. I would not care about that. I, I genuinely would love to reach out to so many more of you guys so you guys can see what Canada's weed is like, what Toronto's weed is like. Cause honestly, I don't, I haven't been smoking for long. It's only been like maybe two, three years. So all you guys have been smoking since you guys are like preteens and shit, since you guys are babies, so, <laughs> you know, you guys will probably be able to tell we better. Hey, Toronto's weed has gotten better. Like a buddy of mine in Montreal, he says, bro, I miss Toronto's weed, man. It's way better than Montreal's weed. He says, although you can get way better like for your money with the amount it's quantity over quality and that is 100 percent true so when you guys hear me say that oh dude for this price it's a triple man and it's worth the price i'm saying that because for the ounce that i got the quality is there in this case no difference so same thing with the strawberry cough no difference quality is there i would say honestly man like i said I've been debating whether Strawberry Cough is my number one strain, but this is still number one. Hands fucking down. Like, this is just one of the best strains. This is actually the best strain I've ever smoked and really consistent across every dispensary I've gone to. But, personally speaking, does Power Plant Health hold the trophy or the, the title of the best place where I've gotten Blue Dream from? I would actually have to say yeah. Mainly and specifically because of how frosty it is. If you guys want to see pictures of the of the the buds, link is down below to that post on Instagram. Um, I literally so when you guys ask me how I take the pictures, I literally use my iPhone six plus and a macro lens attachment that I got off of Amazon. It's eight or ten different lenses, and um, obviously the clip to attach it to your phone, and that's I think it was like thirty or forty bucks. It's kind of expensive. Considering I don't use very many of them, it's only like the macro, the wide angle, the fisheye, and there's one other one, I don't know what it is. 
out of like the bunch that it comes with. Actually, you know what? If you guys are interested in buying it, it'll be linked. It'll be the bottom most link in this video's description. Uh, I, I can't link you guys the phone. I mean, it works with any phone. Um, I would say as long as you don't have a case that's too thick. Like, if you have an OtterBox Defender, I, I kind of feel like that would be a little bit too thick. Giggity. But... You guys cannot tell exactly how happy I am right now. Um, <coughs> but that's literally all I do when it comes to taking these pictures. I, I don't have a DSL. I would love to have a professional camera or at least a newer iPhone because I, I, I don't fuck with Android too much. Kind of do, but honestly, I just I, I just stick with iPhone. I don't give a fuck. You guys call me sheep. You guys call me an Apple fan, but I don't care. My money, my choice. But, um, heavy so I'm trying to think of other scenarios where you'd really want this kind of like this is, is a, a, a choice um again definitely if you guys are going to be going like you guys know sometimes i go to the park and i smoke um or i smoke when i'm going for a walk i don't normally do that very frequently i feel like because i'm not a big fan of you know because i don't know on the street who i'm going to run into and if let's say Sorry guys, life went out. But um, I completely forgot what I was talking about. There we go. I jinxed myself. <laughs> um, throat's getting a little bit raspy and dry. <coughs> but uh, I mean, still consistently, the taste is there. Um, my lisp hasn't been too noticeable so i mean that's good um i talked about that in one of my previous videos i don't remember which one that when i get high sometimes uh i get high to the point where my lisp is just unavoidable it's like threats i just fuck it it's gonna happen <laughs> but not not to sh you know make fun of people that have threats i'm just saying um but again getting back to what i was talking about in the beginning where i said i wanted this to uh, sorry i'm expecting this to feel like a fairly nice pleasant head high that's exactly what i'm um, that sense of elation and that sense of just euphoria that I'm getting from this, that has to be these last three to four strains that I'm getting from Power Plant Health. Love you guys, by the way. Um, that's, I'm just feeling that. Like, it's feeling, like, really, 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 really good. Um, if you guys suffer from depression, this is, this is one of those things that, I remember when I was first started getting into weed, and I was like, I wonder what strain to smoke, you know? I first got off a friend, and I was, they, you know, they were telling me about the OCS and stuff like that, and that's actually why I got into it, you know what I'm saying? And, like, legally, I talked about the first time smoking weed. It was, I think, episode 6 of the Storytime series, or episode 7 or 8 or whatever. And... Honestly, I'm kind of embarrassed to say that that's the way that I started smoking. Not that it was anything crazy. I didn't, like, fucking suck a guy's dick for a joint. I'm just saying, like, like, I went to a friend, and he gave me probably some of the shittiest weed, and he still smokes probably that same weed. Honestly, unless I'm that stupid, he just gives me the Reggie that falls off the fucking plant. You know what I'm saying? Or he just gives me, like, trim, and then somehow gets it to stick together and look like weed. I really don't fucking know. But, <laughs> you know? One thing I was gonna, I was saying, as I was looking at the buds taking the pictures, a lot of orange hairs, and I've mentioned in the past in a stream a couple nights back, that when I see weed with purple, or actually let me phrase it like this: when I see weed with a lot of orange hairs, and brown hairs, um, I'm gonna call them hairs. I really don't know what they're called. You know what I'm saying? Like those brown, golden kind of spots on the weed, um. I don't look at that as the same way that I would look at weed that instead of brown, if it was purple. You know what I'm saying? Because something about purple strains just hit. I don't know what it is. I'm not sure if there's literally a, a correlation to that, and it's actually because it's purple. Whatever makes it a purple, you know, is actually something that increases the terpenes and the, and the THC count a lot and the potency. So, and, I'm, but I, and I don't know, maybe that's not even the case, because it's not like, you know, you can get every strain to be purple. There are some strains that are darker. 
like that um, purple space cookies darker purple but when you shine light on it you can really see that it's purple and it just looks cool man i got pictures of that i got pictures of i believe it was, i'm pretty sure i have pictures of train wreck um which is probably one of the my very favorite strains visually with the purple it just looks amazing i'm gonna try my very best to smoke and not make this a 40 minute video. I would, I, I don't know. Some of you guys probably wonder why I have to smoke the whole joint. I just feel like I have to. Uh, not like someone's putting a gun to my head, have to, but have to in the sense otherwise I'm just kind of like a waste. I don't know. But, um, really, really nice, light, smooth smoke. Um, get, getting back to that, that taste, I'm just, I, I'm trying to really. Compare it. See if I, I I should do a comparison between OCS Blue Dream from other another company that's not Aurora because that's the only company I've gotten my Blue Dream from in terms of like dried flower, um, and then compare these two because honestly I'm definitely thinking of doing that. Maybe I will go out and buy a gram of Blue Dream if I can get that little. Because uh, I don't believe the OCS charges for delivery, so I mean. The price that they show in the OCS, this is one thing I like about the OCS that not every place does. <clears throat> Excuse me. I feel everybody should be doing this. Any company, like grocery stores especially, or like Walmart or whatever, like, like department stores. The price that's shown on screen is including taxes. Especially because we pay 13% in taxes. That's a lot of money. You guys may not think it, especially if it's a few dollars, it's not. But when it adds up, it adds up. Taxes. Nobody likes them. Some people avoid them like the plague, and we get nipped in the ass even if I You don't pay your taxes, you get nipped. You pay your taxes, you get ripped off. I, I was out with my mom uh, the other day, and this lady, we were, we were talking about COVID and the pandemic, and she's, she brought the term plandemic. <laughs> so... I'm just saying, man. Hashtag pandemic. <laughs> but definitely gonna get the fucking giggles off of this shit. Strawberry cough, fucking. Oh my god. I smoked this the other day when I was out. I could not keep a straight face. Uh, this is definitely gonna be one of those times as well. I can. I'm probably not gonna be able to keep a straight face. I really don't mind getting. Sometimes I kind of get a little bit sad because it makes me like into my feelings and think like, you know, I wouldn't be laughing this much if I wasn't high. That's kind of sad. But <laughs> like, at the same time, I'm like, I'm not complaining that I'm laughing. But I feel like I've got to adjust my mustache on every fucking video. Like, really? Especially story time. So if my mustache knows I'm doing a story time, it says, fuck it, we're not going to stay in place today. Visually, it disperse. You know, kind of like static electricity. <laughs> Yeah, I definitely want to see if I can grab a gram or something like that. I don't, I'm kind of curious. I don't even know. Can you get just a gram? I'm pretty sure you could. But just one gram, probably be like maybe 11 bucks. Not going to lie, probably like 11 58 or 84 That's kind of the stupid thing. They have really odd pricing, like 11 84 Why? Why is such a specific number? But I'm just, I'm just saying. I, I don't mean to be like that, but. Why such a specific fucking number? Like, why not just make it, like, fucking twelve ninety nine? If you're going to rip me off like that, I mean, I'll pay an extra two dollars on top of that price, but make it an even fucking number or some shit. Like, like, a, like a real price, man. Or is it twelve ninety nine? do me better? Thirteen bucks. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I see these, these memes, and it's like, the price goes on sale, thirteen dollars, to twelve ninety nine. <laughs> That's not on sale. We don't have pennies here in Canada, so... It would have to be like twelve ninety five to even consider it to be a deal at all. Like of any stretch of the imagination that would be. You can never owe somebody four cents or less. Just keep it like that. You can owe somebody five cents, but that's about it. That's the least they can owe you can owe somebody. So it's good for all your bitches that don't pay shit back. Looking at you, Matt. But Pig motherfucker. 
But uh, I'm gonna stop shooting my shots because you know, there's enough fire in there, right? But um, look again. I'm just going back into this red seal. Look at that. Look at that. I don't know why I said mm like that, but look at that. <laughs> Just, oh my god, that red string is heavy. It's consistent, the whole joint. That's one thing with the OCS. I really don't expect it to res really that much at all or anything. But this, from Power Plant, even with their, their double A's, bro, they fucking, they do resonate. Not that much, but I mean... Like, for instance, when I was looking, when I did that Tom Ford review and it was a quad, I was kind of disappointed a lot. You guys remember the video if you already watched it. I remember I was disappointed because it wasn't super sticky. It wasn't, you know, like, like it didn't resonate that much. Which, to be honest with you, for, for a quad A, that, that's that's a letdown. That's, for me, I'm going to be honest with you guys, that's a letdown. But... I mean, that's just my opinion. You don't have to do what I do. Say what I say. Go where I go. Excuse me. But, um, out of 10, this joint, I'm not going to lie, this is a solid fucking 10. This this bit of weed that I got from Power Plant, however much I got, again, I'm not saying, um, 10 out of 10. And keep in mind, all I'm going to say is they were... They're like extremely generous with the amount that they gave me. I was I was expecting smaller, obviously. But um But I mean my eyes aren't red. Kinda low, but they're not red, which is good. Um something I've been doing in my last few strain reviews. Is this a strain that when you're high if I feel somebody else will be able to tell. They might be able to catch on when they, if they, you know, notice I'm giggly. Because notice, you know, no, notice, sorry, normally, <laughs> normally, or if I fuck on my words, um, normally when I'm, you know, sober or not high, I, I like to say not high, because sober is runs with alcohol. You know? I don't fuck with that shit. But normally when I'm not high, I do laugh. I mean, like, I'm not just a miserable fuck. I just gotta put that out there. You know? <laughs> and you guys be like, I wouldn't be laughing this much if I wasn't high. So, obviously, you're a miserable fuck. No. I'm not a miserable fuck. <laughs> I'm a cool guy even when I'm not smoking, right? At least I like to think so. Again, I can't really make that judgment call. Definitely one of the strains you want, if let's say, and you don't even need a lot. Like, I don't have to smoke this whole joint. You know what I'm saying? Like I said earlier, I could have smoked just half of it and I would have been fine. So, not every strain that I've smoked from Power Plant has been like that. Some strains, I have to smoke at least a gram. Or, you know, at least a fucking size joint. Like, smoking, packing a one and a quarter all the way just ain't gonna cut it. Now, Personally speaking, there are so many different things when it comes to weed that I don't know. I'm not trying to make it sound like I know everything about everything. I want to get that out there as well. Um, it, it does also happen to be, you know, something like, for instance, I like to smoke this kind of strain because, one, I, like I mentioned earlier, I'm not a fan of being locked to the couch or just sleeping all day. I just, I don't like that. There are days where I will want that. I'm not going to lie. Like, there's, everybody gets those, gets those days where they wake up and they just want to stay in bed all day. But I don't want that to be a sure thing when I smoke because it really discourages me from smoking. Like, that's... When I believe I talked about that in the Purple Space Cookies because even smoking one and a quarter or, like, half a king size, roughly about the same amount, maybe, um, it just... It, it, got me buzzed to the point where really I wasn't a huge fan of it. Sometimes I would, especially if I really want to fall asleep. But if it's through the throughout the day, I would have to smoke small like amounts of it. Just kind of annoying. Because I like to take my time when I smoke a joint. And if the joint's still going to take like 5-10 minutes, that I don't like. 
That's why I like smoking blunts. That's why. And, and by the way, really quickly, getting off topic, I'm going to wrap this video up soon. Um, a couple of you guys were asking why I don't do blunts or story times. Same reason why I never really do uh, one and a quarters. Um, I kind of feel like, for one, one and a quarters are going to take too long. Sorry, are not going to take that long to smoke. <coughs> uh, with blunts, I just kind of feel like, honestly, it's kind of expensive to be getting blunts. I don't smoke blunts very often. You guys know, I don't really, I'm not a fan of tobacco, but if I got to be honest with you guys, I wouldn't mind smoking a King Palm. The other, the only real reason why I don't fuck with King Palms in story times is because, or it's not in strain reviews, is because that's quite a bit of weed. Like, that's at least a gram and a half. That personally... Like I said, a lot of times if I smoke too much weed, I just feel really sedated and really relaxed to the point where I don't want to do much. And I don't like feeling like that. So, for all of you guys who are wondering why I don't smoke King Palms in my stream reviews, that is why. Why do you stick to King Size Joints? I think in a few uh, stream reviews I've done, I smoked one and a quarter. Uh, I know I've smoked two joints in story times. Sorry, guys. But, by the way, look at how smoky this fucking clock is getting. Look at all that smoke up there. But, um... <laughs> I join this over here. It's not up to the camera, by the way. I don't have it like this. I can see, like, oh my god, look at how smoky this room is. No. Sorry, what's my notes here? What's my notes? Yes, I'm forgetting. I don't think so. But, um, to kind of wrap this video up, would I recommend this from Power Plant Health? Fuck it. 10 out of 10 for you guys. Um... I would say you guys have probably the best fucking prices. I, I did a post showing you guys. I'm not saying this like the clock. I'm saying this for the viewers that are watching this strictly as a strain review. And if you're not power plant health. Um, it's, it's, it's one of those things that personally I talked about them. Because they have the best fucking prices I've ever seen. Now the one reason why I stick with them and I don't go to someone else. Because I really could go. One, I, I, I trust Power Plant. I do not trust having my ID. Like, I won't fuck with any of you guys. I get you guys reaching out to me like, hey, you want to buy some of my weed? You want to try? I'll give you like, a reduced price. And I'll say, yeah, okay. You know, what's the deal? Oh, just send me a picture of your ID. No. I'm sorry. That's not going to fucking happen. I'm not stupid. Um, or I've had a couple of you guys reach out and be like, hey, you know, you just got to pay for this you know, shipping or pay for this. And... I know how this kind of stuff works if it's strictly through Instagram. You know what I'm saying? Like like Cash App or e um, or um, Venmo or PayPal. I don't do that shit. If I can't e-transfer you the money, because I want to do things the way that I'm comfortable with. You know? Or WhatsApp me money. How the fuck are you going to do that, dude? Send me the money via WhatsApp? Or Venmo? What the fuck? I don't, I don't, I'm not too familiar with those kind of things. I'm going to sound like a boomer when I say this, but I'm sticking with what I know. So we're almost done this joint. I'm going to try to make this no more than 45 minutes. So, yeah, I, I mean, personally, guys, the fact that they don't ask for ID, I think personally is good. I mean, one thing that they could do if they really want to be like that, because I understand why asking for ID is such a big deal, and it's because you don't want people underage, especially children, buying weed. You shouldn't be doing anything stupid like that, especially at 12. Okay, this is why I smarted, I started smoking. I drank, started drinking before I started smoking weed, because I weighed at 19, my friends bought me a bottle of Grey Goose, and we fucking downed that shit. Um, I might even do a birthday story time. I don't know. If you guys want to hear those stories on my birthday when I turn 19. I've got a couple funny stories. And then when I turned 22, 21, however old I was, it's been a couple of years, like I said, um, I started smoking weed. I have not been smoking weed since I was a kid, like a whole bunch of you guys. I think it's crazy that I know one of my cousin's friends started smoking weed. I think he's like 12. I'm like, bro, what the that's crazy. This is back when I was still believing about the, you know, taboo about weed, that weed is a drug and drugs are bad. You know, which weed is a drug. 
You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying it isn't, because all you guys will say, oh, but I don't really consider weed a drug. That's what you don't consider. That doesn't mean that it's not a drug. So, that being said, this is why I've mentioned in the past, I'm not the kind of person to go and say, if a buddy of mine is like, oh, I got back pain, smoke a joint. You have to smoke a joint. Dude, just smoke the joint. Try it. At least try take a puff. Tell me, you know, I'm not pushy about anything. If my friend doesn't want to try it, they do not have to try it. Simple as that. And I'm saying this because I've seen some people really not be pushy, but they're persistent. Not necessarily pushy. Very fine difference. Very fine line. They are persistent with the way that you're trying to encourage it. That's what I'm going to say. Some of y'all guys will say, oh, I'm just rewarding the way that you describe pushy. But teach their own so wrapping this joint up because we're done because if not my my throat's gonna turn into ash <laughs> um absolutely 10 out of 10 the taste the smell the presentation i mean it's it's fairly straightforward basic presentation it comes in a bag but it's not as like a shitty ziploc bag i've genuinely seen places with dispensary my very first dispensary that i went to that was down the street, the one that I never want to name because they are garbage people. Um, or at least the owner was. The, the, the butt tenders are okay. They were nice. Um, <clears throat> what was I going to say? It, it, it comes in those like like Ziploc bag things. It looks, it's it's a Ziploc, like it literally like a Ziploc. And it's like, well, like this much. Um, I'm not sure what they would give you if you ordered more than fucking six grams because that's, I would never spend more than 60 bucks there. Never. I don't care if I'm getting $12 strain and I'm buying only 4 grams for shit or whatever the fuck, you know. I, I'm i not spending more than 60 bucks there. Never did. And unfortunately, I never get the chance to. Or not even fortunately, but fortunately for them. So to wrap this up, um, like I said, out of 10, quality, definitely there. Definitely a strain that, again, I'm going to say this again. If you guys are the type of people that, like myself, do not want to smoke to then fall asleep for the whole day, um, this is definitely a strain for you. It's definitely something that will give you a huge, very big sense of euphoria. So, again, if, let's say, maybe you're down in the pits. Because, and again, I did a mental health awareness post the other day, about a week, week and a half ago, roughly. Um, link to the description. I'm not just going to audit it. Or it'll, it'll, if I can figure out how to work the... The eye in the top right of the screen. I'm still learning with YouTube. It's been, what, fucking seven years I've been on this. And I still don't know everything. <laughs> so, that being said, um, to wrap this up, would I recommend this? Absolutely. 150 million percent yes. Um, and for all the guys who are going to look at Weed Maps uh, reviews of Power Plant Health and be like, oh, there's eight one-star reviews. That's the first place I went when I looked on Weed Maps. I have ordered from them at least half a dozen times never once i remember the first night that i ordered from them i think i mentioned this when i did my review on their service way when i first started youtube uh, about five six months ago and personally speaking i was nervous as hell because i was like you know what even though i don't have to give my id um i was worried like i'd eve transfer them the money what if they fuck off my money like, genuinely, I kind of feel like it's normal to worry about that kind of stuff. You don't know the company at all. You have no kind of, like, um, what's the word I'm looking for? No no reputation of your own built with that company the first time. So you're, you're normally going to be a little bit sketchy, a little bit, you know, kind of on the edge. Be like, oh, what if they fuck off my money? Because at the time, it was $100 that I, invest, I, I invested into a company that I had no idea about. I mean... I look at reviews, so even though a lot of people say, yo, um, you know, this, this, we, I ordered this and whatever, and I ordered that, and it was perfect, came on time, came nicely packaged, I mean, when I did the review of their service, I'm pretty sure I talked about, or I talked about in a video, I don't, almost 100% sure, that when they deliver the weed, it's discreet, um, for instance, you can tell them to leave it. I don't know if you're really suspect about people seeing it, you know, throw it in a bush that's in front of my door. I'm sure they'll do that, you know, like not carelessly, but in a way that it'll be something you can find. 
No, <laughs> you don't try to play hide and seek with yourself, right? But, um, anyways, I said this is not going to be more than 45 minutes. I've already gone five minutes over that. So, thank you guys for watching this video. If you watch this the whole way through, thank you very much. And if you guys did not watch this video the whole way through, but you just happened to stumble upon this point, probably because it's the end of the video, um, thank you, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> that's less than a thank you but it's still being grateful um <laughs> yeah till next time guys smoke on